in my experience, it's really been a process uh, that I've witnessed of healing and not that kind of instant success or instant right. overnight type of thing that we, we love instant food, you know. So I'd love for you to speak to the process of healing and, and what that involves, some of the, the difficulties. Yeah, it's really good for us to talk about the reality of overcoming addiction, overcoming trauma. You know, we do want that experience where you've come to the altar and in one moment, you know, they're healed. And sometimes as family members, we can be really frustrated or as individuals and go, you know, I'm yeah. hearing it's supposed to be an instant healing, but why isn't that happening for me? And so there's no place uh, better than I've been able to learn about this experience and see it than in an, our own ministry. So my parents started, eventually got out of our house and we opened up the Mercy House for Women and the, the Home for Men. And it's a year long program that we have. But I always ask a question. Uh, if when they walk in day one and they're off of drugs, then why do they need to be there a year? And that is because the process of healing takes time. It's a lifelong learning. You know, a lot of time it's the character. It's whatever's happening in the home. You know, maybe you're listening today. You have a son or daughter that's been involved in these things and you just feel hopeless or you feel like, well, I prayed for them two years ago, but they fell back. And so the key and what I encourage people to know is, you know, God is the source. You know, I can walk you 12 steps forward and 12 steps back. But if you're not plugged into Jesus, if you're not plugged into hope and receiving love on a daily basis, it's easy to fall back. You know, we talk about the big things like addiction of drugs and prostitution, but there's there's no um, comparison sometimes. But it, it it's true. We have Weight Watchers all over the world. It's another form of addiction. You know, it's a legal form, but it kills as many people. So we have to look on the inside of the heart. We got to work with the mind. And, you know, when, when girls come into our home, Brenda, they come broken and hurting. Um, uh, mm. but they feel the very first thing they say is when I walked in, I felt love. And so love wow. is what can bring healing. And that's what you and I know we've seen together that the love of God can heal the most wounded heart, but sometimes it takes time.